Tonight, anguish and anger in Honduras after government officials say a gang slaughtered at least 46 women inside a prison. Smoke billowing from the women's prison just outside of the nation's capital, where officials say members of the Barrio 18 gang opened fire on women in their cells before lighting the prison on fire. This is the charred wreckage, one of the worst prison massacres in recent history. Police say they recovered 18 pistols, an assault rifle, and two grenades, all of which were smuggled in. Outside the prison walls, families desperately seeking justice for their loved ones. This father says he's dying of pain while he and many others wait for answers about how this could have happened. Officials from Honduras' prison system say the gang removed guards from the prison gates before beginning their deadly assault, though none of the guards have reported injuries. Honduras' president, Yamada Castro, saying the street gang planned the attack in plain view as security authorities stood by, tweeting that she will take drastic measures. The head of the nation's prison system suggesting the riot could have started because of recent attempts by authorities to crack down on crime in prisons. No nos vamos a doblegar. Saying that they will not back down in a televised address shortly after the massacre. Oh, no, no. Some government officials now calling for a better incarceration system to prevent another tragedy. Jake, a security minister, says the government is reviewing footage that shows the moment the women overtook the guards, taking their keys, acknowledging that gangs have essentially ruled some parts of the prison for years.